What's going on you guys, this is Tech HD coming at you with a brand new video and today we're going to be taking a look at a new monitor from BenQ and this one is for content creators and influencers. We have the PD3420Q and it is a 34 inch ultra wide monitor and there is a good amount of premium stuff that graphic designers and video editors want in order to make amazing digital content. So let's dive in, take a look at the features, what it has to offer and then see how this monitor overall performs. Now taking a look at what comes inside the box, you get an HDMI cable, a USB 3.1 Type A to Type B cable, a USB C to C cable, a DisplayPort to Mini DisplayPort cable, the Hotkey Puck G2, the Quick Start Guide and some other documents, the Calibration Report, the Monitor Arm, the Base, and the Back Cover to hide and manage the cables. Now taking a look at the ports on the monitor, you have a power port on one side and on the other side you have a mini USB port for the Puck G2 two HDMI 2.0 ports, a DisplayPort version 1.4, a USB Type-C port that offers up to 65 watts of power delivery, a USB Type-B port, and two USB 3.1 ports. On the side you have one USB-C and a USB 3.1 port and a headphone port. On the back you have the power button, the five-way navigator key, and two custom buttons, and an indicator light on the bottom right. Setting up the monitor is very easy. For the back cover, it just goes into the notches and clicks in. For the arm, the same way. It just slides in and clicks in place and then there's a button if you want to remove it and have it be visa mounted. The base also uses the thumb screw to easily be attached to the arm and the whole base offers a good amount of tilt, swivel, and height adjustment. Now diving into the specs of the PD3420Q, it is a 34 inch 21 by 9 aspect ratio monitor that has a 2K resolution. It is an IPS panel and offers a 5 millisecond response time, a refresh rate of 60 hertz. It supports HDR10 and it has a brightness of 350 nits. Now, the major thing of this monitor is it has 100% Rec.709 color accuracy, a 100% sRGB color accuracy, and a 98% P3 color accuracy. So it's a great for any type of digital work you are doing. Looking at the appearance of the monitor, I really like the matte finish and simplicity of it. Pretty slim bezels on the sides and tops and there's no logo on the monitor at all, only on the base and I personally like that because it makes the setup super clean and I really like the base space because it also gives me a spot to put my things and keep it organized like my phone and card reader. Now like I said before, this monitor is for designers and creators in mind and having those amazing color accuracies, you'll know that your work will look how it's supposed to look like online like on Instagram, YouTube, Twitter and so on. And I have been testing the PD3420Q for over a month now, editing some videos on Premiere Pro and photos on Photoshop and Lightroom and I really like the extra space that this monitor gives me. This is my first time using an ultra wide monitor and it gave me the ability to expand my timeline and have more space to add windows in Premiere Pro. So I'm able to work faster and not have everything cramped in on a 27 inch monitor. I also really like that the monitor isn't curved so doing some graphic design work and video editing I know that my lines are leveled and straight and not off. Taking a look at the hotkey Puck G2, I love that I could easily mess with the monitor settings by just using the dial and buttons instead of having to reach on the back of the monitor. You could also set the dial to control the brightness, contrast and volume. You have three custom buttons to be able to change the color modes or the inputs. I personally have mine to change the inputs and I have the rotation key to change the color modes. This monitor also supports picture in picture and picture by picture so you could be working on multiple devices at the same time and I personally tried out the picture in picture for when I was gaming. I had the main input be my console and the second input to be my PC so it's cool if you want to use one monitor and be able to game and then possibly stream with OBS on the PC and be able to see both inputs. You could also use the picture by picture to have both inputs be on the same aspect ratio and be able to see them both clearly. You can also do picture by picture in a 5 by 9 aspect ratio or you could also do a times 4 option to have up to 4 inputs be seen on the same monitor. Now to go even further with these features, you can download BenQ's Display Pilot application to mess with the color mode, change the display, and mess with the picture in picture and the picture by picture. But the major things that I love about this application are you can enable application mode and have a different color mode for each application and the monitor will automatically change it. So I can have Firefox be Rec.709 and Premiere Pro be sRGB and Photoshop be Display P3 for example and it'll automatically switch so that it saves me a lot of time and not having to use the puck or the buttons on the back. 
I can also enable desktop partition to easily split my screen into multiple styles and the application recommends me a bunch of options and I can even create my own if I want to. I can also enable dual view which means that I can have the screen display two different color modes at the same time split in half. So I can have Photoshop be open on one side and that could be display P3 and then I can have the browser on the other side and that could display Rec 709. It's super handy when it comes to multitasking. And finally there is ICC Sync where it automatically sets the color mode to match the laptop display to give you the most accurate colors. So I can easily do work on my laptop and then connect it to my monitor and it will automatically detect and adjust the color space to match with what I'm seeing on my laptop which is insane and I really love that. Now I did mention that I tried this out for gaming for a bit and even though that this monitor is not specifically for that, it's definitely doable. It caps at 60 hertz and it only has a response time of 5 milliseconds, but that's still pretty low for casual gaming and that ultra wide look is really cool and gives you so much more of a better field of view. I was able to play with still a lot of detail since this monitor supports up to 1440p and the colors are amazing. I can also enable HDR and be able to see so much more detail in my shadows and highlights and playing games like Spider-Man looks so good. So my overall thoughts on the PD3420Q has been honestly amazing. I love editing on an ultra wide display and it gives me so much more space than I did before. I normally edit on my BenQ PD2700U and it feels so weird going back to a 27 inch monitor and everything looks so much more cramped on it. The other major thing that I love is not only is the monitor color accurate and have different color modes but it also comes pre-calibrated and you receive a calibration report and this states that my monitor has a Delta E averaging of about 1.08 which means that it's super accurate because the average is around 3 and the, the lower the number the more accurate it is. My experience using the PD3420Q for content creating like video editing has been great and I'm doing a lot of color correcting and color grading with 5.9K ProRes raw footage and the videos I've created with this monitor and the images I edited in Lightroom and Photoshop has been really accurate and looks the same when I'm seeing it on my iPhone on social media like Instagram for example. I also tested this monitor for Mac using a Mac mini with the USB-C port on the back and it was great. There's also a color mode specifically for Mac users called MBook which matches the color accuracy to let's say a MacBook display and I tried this out with an iPad and it worked great and the colors were still very accurate comparing both displays. I like being able to do touch ups with the Apple Pencil and then being able to see the results on a bigger screen and looking the same. The other major thing that I wanted to test out was editing HDR footage in HDR since this monitor is Display HDR 400 certified. So if you guys are watching right now then this video should have been uploaded in HDR and it's best to see it on an HDR screen like the latest Android and iPhone and it really gave me the ability to edit in Rec 2100 HLG and to get much more data in the shadows and highlights. So let me know what you guys think of the style and if I should upload an HDR from now on but I will say for Premiere Pro uh, the preview window doesn't show you the HDR and it just shows you SDR. You would need an external I.O. box and you do need to view the preview on an external HDR monitor in order to edit and preview an HDR. So I use the BenQ EW3280U which is actually right behind me as my reference monitor. So it is very difficult if you want to edit in HDR but that's because of Premiere Pro. I don't know how Final Cut Pro or DaVinci Resolve is. But also watching movies in HDR with a 21 by 9 aspect ratio is awesome and looks so good on this display. Gaming on it is definitely doable but it's not really intended for that but casual gaming every once in a while is great. Now the only con that I have is not really a big deal at all and it's usually I edit in pitch black for color correcting and grading and I do use the Puck G2 quite often and I would love for the symbols and numbers to have indicator lights to make it easier to know what I'm pressing. I'm used to it by now and it's more muscle memory at this point but I would love that and for the bottom of the puck to be magnetic so it could stay put onto the magnetic base and not move whenever I'm moving the dial or pressing a button. Pretty nitpicking but that's about it. Maybe in a G3 version they'll add those features. 
But there you guys have it. That is my review of the BenQ PD3420Q. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and everything will be linked down in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you guys can be notified whenever I upload a new video. Follow me on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitch. As always, TechHD. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.